Advanced Takedown Tree Stands present The Hunting Grounds. Also brought to you by Eagle Seed, Four Wheel Concept, Nose Jammer, Dirt Nap Gear, Spy Point, Bow Tech, Cross Country Camo, Hook Line Sinker Outdoors, Shea Bug Designs, Tradition Game Calls, Jato Gear, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas, Turkey Fam. Welcome back to another semi-live online episode of The Hunting Grounds. We are literally bringing you our videos as quick as we can. Right now you might notice that's a little bit different backdrop back behind me. You might see some houses, might hear some vehicles, lawn mowers, children playing, dogs chasing, whatever, because I am currently in Nashville. I'm sweating because it is 85 degrees here already. It might hit close to 80 where I'm from, but we're here this weekend for the NRA show, and we're gonna be here with Jotto Gear, so be sure to come by and see us at our booth. It's booth number 18. But the first thing I did when I got here to Nashville is I got out the Bowtech, got out the walk-on archery target, and I decided to fling some arrows down range to make sure I was dead on because come Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna be in Kansas chasing turkeys with my archery equipment, and hopefully I can get it done. So last weekend I went to Kansas for a youth hunt. The little girl ended up getting sick. And so I was there and I'm not there to get sleep or to be rested. I'm there to chase turkeys, video, do whatever I've got to do. So when our field staff member Chance Brake said his little brother was going to be going on a turkey hunt and his dad was going to be taking him, I just asked to tag along. So we got out there that morning and let me tell you, I was so pumped. We got up to the top of that hill, threw out a call and it was just, you just got to pick which turkey you want to go after. So that morning after everything slowed down, they had 160 acres that they needed to burn, asked if I wanted to tag along, and I was like, man, this is just gonna be more fun out in Kansas. I ended up taking the Excel camera from Spy Point. I've recently just got those in, brought it on the turkey hunt. Since I wasn't able to capture a whole lot of footage and play around with it a whole lot, I wanted to take it out on this, so that's what I did. I hopped in the back of the ATV, and we had a blast. So one of the goals I wanted to accomplish going out to Kansas that weekend is I wanted to take a little bit of time, look at some of the properties that we have permission to whitetail hunt and scout them out because I wanted to figure out the exact spots where we were going to come back this spring and plant our eagle seed soybeans. So Chance and I got out there and we did some scouting, high tech style. So we're out here on a little piece of property. We're doing some scouting for turkeys today and we're scouting some properties. See, we're gonna plant our eagle seed soybean plots for this upcoming deer season, but we're gonna plant them now. Um, but we're gonna do it high tech style. We got the DJI here. We'll get up above and kind of get an aerial overview, see how these different groups of trees all combine, kind of find our funnel points and junction points or whatever, and uh, find the area that's gonna be best to plant these eagle seed soybeans. So, we're going to get this thing up in the air. It's not too windy, but we're going to have some fun.
One of the cool things about having a drone up in the air, it allowed me to really see how that creek meandered through the woods, all the junction points, to really see those pinch points where I might be able to set up a stand if we were to plant that field in Eagle Seed soybeans. Plus, we got some cool video footage. So that next morning, Shorty ended up talking me into sticking around and chasing some turkeys again with them that morning. We found the birds early on and we got set up. Well, last weekend the turkeys were still really henned up. It didn't take them any time to fly down out of roost and connect with those hens. And they put on a great show for us about 90 yards out, but didn't come any closer. But that morning I couldn't help but think when the sun was coming up and it being Easter, how the people felt back in the day, you know, they had crucified their Christ and that was the day that he rose again and what a glorious sunrise it had to have been and how blessed I was to be sitting up against a tree watching the sun come up and hearing the turkeys gobbling in the distance and just being surrounded by God's great creation. Gives me chills thinking about it. But that morning we chased a few more turkeys. We ended up setting the time for 10 o'clock that we could get out, be at church, be at family outings, and get back home where I could be with my family. So about 9.40 that morning as we're getting out of there, Darren says that he spots a tom strutting on top of the hill. Shorty wants to go after it. And I say, why not? We've got a little time to burn. So we got up there, quickly came up the game plan. Shorty and I took off, and we were going to hopefully get a turkey last day, last 30 minutes of the time that we have to hunt. So the winds were extreme that day, I don't know, they might have been gusting 30 miles an hour and they were kind of down in that draw and they were not wanting to come out. The hens ended up coming out to the top of the hill, maybe decided it was too windy, didn't like something, I don't know, and they turned back down in, Tom followed them down there. I think the closest we had him was at 30, 35 yards, back behind a bunch of brush and a cedar and Shorty just didn't have a shot. But we had a great hunt and a lot of fun and that's what it's all about. It's not all about the killing, it's about the experience that we got to have out there together and what a fun weekend and a whole bunch of stuff that I got to do out in Kansas. Well I'm heading to Kansas this weekend after the NRA show in Nashville and we've got some cool new products that just came in. One of them's the turkey fan that we're going to get out there and play around with and hopefully those toms are a little bit more broken up and are feeling aggressive and are going to come in and play because we've got them equipped with the SpyPoint XL cameras and we know we're going to capture some awesome angles and bring it to you on our semi-live episodes. Well that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, go out of your way to get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors and as always, have a better navigation. Stay.